Are you looking for a brand new slasher to hold you over until Terrifier 3? Well, look no further because Stream has it all. Stream is a contemporary slasher that channels the fearsome spirit of the genre's golden age while also infusing it with a blood pumping jolt of modern day mega slasher films. This is brought to us by the same people who have made the Terrifier movies. Stream was so good. In almost the same exact vein as a Terrifier film, Stream really tries to balance doing something new with the genre, pushing it into kind of this modern era with streaming and the digital age, and then also having very much this intentional throwback vibe to okay, it. Okay, everyone shut the fuck up. Nobody panic because I just saw Stream and holy shit, what a fucking banger. Buzz on the Lens Productions really hit a home run with this film, mainly because of the love they put into it. There are so many great things going on in here. I loved the atmosphere of this movie. This movie is the ultimate love letter to Slash. Such a love letter to the horror genre and the horror community. You can really tell that this was made by slasher fans for slasher fans. By horror fans and for horror fans. This is a horror fan's wet dream. It actually takes some time to develop its characters. I did really like the premise of the movie because it's very relevant to today. We get an extremely fun and thought out story for this one. Off the chain, over the top. There's a lot to enjoy here. This one really delivered on being the expendables of horror by showcasing so many wonderful actors and actresses throughout B-movie history. This movie's almost like a hall of fame. Alice Rose, Tony Todd, D. Wallace, Bill Mosley. David Howard Thornton was also one of the masked men that didn't speak. He gave a phenomenal performance with all the body acting that was very reminiscent to Art the Clown. Jeffrey Combs. I thought he was so fucking fun in this movie. Holy shit, what a performance he puts in this movie. The film knows its audience and delivers exactly what they want. So much fun. It's really fun. Really fun, fun, fun watch. I had a lot of fun with this movie. It is such a fun enjoyment to watch. I had such a blast. It definitely had a lot of fun getting a group of friends together when this is streaming. Stream will likely wet some folks' bloody whistles. The one thing that I was pretty confident was gonna stand out about this film is that sweet carnage candy baby. So entertaining, it never is boring. It feels like half the budget of this movie is in the kills alone. You are not ready for these fucking kills. If you're looking for some of the most grotesquely gnarly brutal kills of 2024, then look no further. The other thing that I got a champion of this film, of course, we know. We're going in for some gore. They do some very fun, unique kills. Definitely has some of the bloodiest and the gnarliest kill scenes that I have seen in a movie in a long time. Damien Leone is a true legend when it comes to practical special effects. He is the man. The practical effects in this film are off the chain. Some of the absolute gnarliest and most disgusting scenes you will see in a movie this year or any year. There was a kill scene in this movie that contains something I don't think I've seen before. We're walking into a slasher movie. We want to see some good kills. We want to see creativity and we want to see the gore and they have both of those in spades and stream crazy creative kills people getting their heads cut off body parts mangled nobody is safe and i love that about this but it's tim curry who truly steals the film tim curry's in this film tim curry is returning to the big screen for the first time in 14 years if you're a fan of horror movies and you love slashers turning your brain off and completely watching the carnage unfold then you really got to check this movie out there's so much well done stuff in this film i definitely think this is going to be a major franchise and i'm really excited to see where they go with it on the second one i definitely I'm gonna be there to see it. I definitely recommend it and for you to give it a chance. I really feel like we're gonna see a lot more of these films coming out down the line. I loved it. I'm all about it. This is my style movie. It's a must-see horror flick of 2024 and should be supported. Stream is going to be the summer's best slasher. It has done so well. It is genuinely terrifying and the scenes in it, the bloodiness is just chef's kiss. If you love slasher movies, you're gonna love this. If you love terrifying movies, you're going to love this. Next level for me. If you're a fan of horror films, I highly recommend just watching it. It does not disappoint. This is like the kind of movie that is why you love horror. If you're looking for a fun ride with absolutely brutal kills, this is the film for you. Go support this movie. It's a shitload of fun and it's gory as hell.